and the migrants were not enough, so they had to bring in the braceros. And I want you to know that, um, how many of you uh, uh, know any braceros in the 50 do you, do you meet any braceros? Miguel? Who? In West Texas, yeah. Anybody else over here? Can can that one? I came to Oregon, but I don't know. Well, let me tell you a story. Uh, does the name Does the name Marianne Marianne Ernst ring the bell? Marianne Ernst. Marianne Ernst. Marianne Ernst. In 1951, okay, in 1951, would meet a fellow by the name of Antonio Amesqua. Antonio Amesqua, 1951. My mom and my mom and dad were here in the late 40s after they got married, and in 1951, when I called Marian Ernst, uh, wife of uh, Elmer. We used to call him Elmo. Elmo. Yeah, Elmo. yeah. Los mexicanos decían, you know, we don't say Elmo. We call Elmo, ¿verdad? Le dije, Marian, le dije, I understand that my parents used to work with for the Bunnings and the, and the uh, uh, Ernst family and so forth. And, and then, of course, I said Arturo. I said, well, I don't remember Arturo. I said, well, do you rem remember a Pancho? He said, yeah, there was a guy by the <laughs> Okay, there you are. And then she says, I remember Antonio Mesqua. Those were words like that. Antonio, I said, no. why would you remember Antonio Mesqua? She says, well, perdón? You, you guys remember? No, 1950, no, no, 951. What happened was that Antonio Mesqua was my mom's brother, my uncle. Yeah. And, and he was uh, not a Bracero, but he, he was a Nacional. You know, the Braceros had the card, and Nacional tenía labor permit. Oh. And Antonio had a, a big accident. I mean, you know, all he, all he knew was, uh, you know, deal with horses and cows and, and burros, and they put him in a, in a, in a, a carapila. <laughs> oh. Oh? And he went down the embankment, right. and he was in a body cast for six months. And I said, w would it be safe to say, Marianne, that that's the reason you remember Antonio Amesqua? <laughs> dijo, yeah, dijo, that was a thing to remember, dijo, that was a bad accident. <laughs> Pero sabes que? About 60 years have passed, and she named, she named mi tío first name and last name. I said, what a memory. And then I said, well, este, Marian, I'm going to surprise you with my own memory. <laughs> and I said, I remember you when you were a young lady uh, in the uh, 50s. And I described her to the team. And, did this. and she said, oh, come on. You know, porque everything, uh, para un niño aquí de México, everything was brand new. Hey, listen, Pipe was brand new for me. I mean, Mere was brand new. Todos los tejanos eran personas nuevas para mí. And so I said, Marian, would you please spend some time with me? And so Lydia and I went and we interviewed Marian uh, Ernst. La esposa de Ed, de Elmer. Allí vive todavía en la misma casa, allí donde, eh? Yes, sir. Y otra vez, una bendición. It's just a, a blessing, you know, to, to uh, find all these people in, the, uh, in this corridor of, of uh, agriculture that brought us all together. I say, okay, I'm going to stop now because, you know, it's, uh, I can go on and on. I don't want you to, you know, <laughs> que te des sueño. <laughs> Pero let's take a moment here. Uh, how is it that you all, I say, how do you find out Fairfield? Okay. ¿Todo el tiempo ustedes sabían que era Fairfield aquí? Yo sabía, yo, yo había conocido. ¿Eh? Yo había conocido aquí. Yeah? Como Fairfield. Vino, vino a una boda, a una boda de aquí. Uh -huh. Cuando? 
Buenas tardes, Agustín. 